Oh yeah, getting that stubble back in. It's time to shave again. God, it's a never ending stream of shaving. I guess I shouldn't complain. Really, remember when you were a teenager, or when I was a teenager, because I hit puberty at the ripe old age of 40. Uh, I, I could not wait to grow a beard. And then I grew a beard, it's okay. And it comes in kind of spotty, and turns out my genetics aren't so hot for beards. I can't really grow hair on my cheeks. Get like a nice line here for the beard hair. There's patches under here. It doesn't really come down at all. There's just like a hint of hair here, and a hint of hair here. And then my wife likes a clean shaven, so I'm clean shaven. <laughs> okay, so two week notice was put in two weeks ago, roughly. Um, things at work, they're work, right? <laughs> you show up, you do the job, and uh, that's about it. It's still just as busy. You still have to kind of grit your teeth and, and work through it. Now you know that you're gonna be free. <laughs> from whatever, excuse me, whatever job you're at. That's one way to say it. I mean, I've got a job that I'm going to after this. Awesome. So it's it's like a countdown kind of thing. And you, you have to be very patient as you're going through that countdown. You don't want to slack off, okay? Going into a two week notice, you know you're leaving, they know you're leaving, it's understandable that you're not going to have the same stake in whatever company you're working for. In whatever workplace you're at, you're, you're not going to feel the necessity to give it your 100%. And I'm telling you right now, don't do that. Don't slack off. It's, it's not worth it. One, they can just let you go. I mean, there's no reason why you can't be fired after you've put in a two-week notice. And... Two, it just it just looks bad on you. Like, whatever you're creating in the world, whatever you're putting out there, your name is attached to that. Whether it's effort in your actions or something physical that you've created, that has your signature on it. And why are you putting something low quality out there? So that's my recommendation. When you put in your two-week notice, just keep giving it 100%. Just keep pushing forward. Get through the two weeks, it will end, take a deep breath, and move on with your life. All that said, where I'm at now, oh my gosh. So, two-week notice goes around, and some of the teachers there develop, what is this this thing called? Oh, right, dirty looks. <laughs> it's like, everyone's so friendly until they know you're leaving, and then, mm, maybe not so much. Some of them are still themselves. <laughs> you you understand which of your coworkers were being genuine when they were when they were kind, friendly, fun to talk to after you turned in a two week notice. You're like, huh, Jackie over there is uh, a little a little temperamental and and John over here, wow, I did not know you could frown so much while saying while saying good morning. Um <laughs> It's, it's interesting, for sure. But you know what you do when that happens? When someone gives you a dirty look or when someone's got an attitude, let's put it that way, you just take a deep breath and wish them well. <laughs> That's it. That's it, okay? Wherever they're at that they think it's necessary to give you some kind of dirty look, just smile. Tell them to have a great day. Help them with whatever problem they got. I'm the IT guy, right? I've got to help out with that stuff. But then, you know, make small talk and wish them well. Nine times out of ten, it's not because of you. It's not on you at all. It's not personal. <laughs> and and I would say if you read the book, um, The Four Agreements, by, oh man, please let me get this right, by Don Miguel Ruiz, it's never personal. Don't take anything personal is one of the, the great tenets of that of that wonderful text. And I would highly recommend you read it. So just, just don't pay it any mind. And yeah, that's all I've really got on two week notices. Keep putting in a hundred percent. Don't take any reaction you get from anyone at the workplace, whether it's your boss or coworkers personally, just put in your time and move on with your life. And on a more personal note, 
that's tomorrow for me. Tomorrow's my last day there. I'm going to show up. I'm going to put everything I've got into it. I'm going to have a good attitude. They're going to have a good attitude for me. Because, and that's all I'm going to see. If anyone doesn't have a good attitude, hey, what do you know? I can walk around the corner and go lock myself in the server room and hang out there. It's going to be a great day. And then it's going to be a great weekend. And then Tuesday, I start up at the new job. I am pumped. I'm very excited. <sighs> okay. That's all I got for you. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday evening. And we will talk to you probably tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe just this weekend. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Bye.